So let's go check it out, man. Let's see what we got. Um, so Condogbia yesterday, St. Ju... Wait, what? 88 pace? No, yay. No way. What? 88 pace. He has 85 pace on his silver. He got plus 12 rating, and they got, gave him plus 3 pace? What? Ah, oh, that is trash, man. What? Chat, come on, bro. Now, this card actually has some crazy stuff. Now, high medium is not great. He does have five-star skills. It's still a really good center back in the Bundesliga, obviously. Um... But, man, EA doing EA things, bro. 86 rated, plus 12 overall, plus 3 pace. So, where did he get the overall boost, man? Where I wonder where EA, like, filtered in this guy's boost. So, if we look at his card, he got plus 12 shooting, plus 13 passing, plus 12 dribbling, plus 11 defending, and plus 11 physical. He got plus 3 pace only, though. Uh, he has 90 agility, 82 reaction, 77 bounce. So, the dribbling is really good. Uh, lean body type, we talked about that. Um... His defending is good. His 89 interceptions, 99 jumping, 87 stamina, uh, 82 strength. So definitely fast enough for this meta, for sure. Three squads! 83, 84, and 86. 83, 84, and 86. Huh. How much is that? Now, the only thing I would say with this is that this card is really good. But there's a the, the problem, not the problem, but this is, uh, as we talked about, it's not the easiest. You have to go with Dutch icons, icons in general, or you have to go with Bundesliga, basically. Or I guess, you know, you could go Dutch, but you'd have to do, it's it's a lot of weak links. So you got to make sure that he's always linked around, right? And on ACAM, though, he is a good player. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know, to be honest, man. I mean, I think 83, 80, 46 is what price. So 86 for La Liga. 85 La Liga Condogbia is what? Oh, no. 160. So an 86 squad right now. Oh, I didn't realize this. An 86 squad right now costs... $250K. 240K. An 84 squad costs about... Oh, no. Oh, this is expensive. Okay, an 86 with a team of the week is 270K. So this is going to be about 240K, 250. An 84 is... With a team of the week is 110. So that's about 350. And then this is going to make it 400. Oh. This is 400K. Brazilian, thanks for the prime sub. This is 400K, man. That's too much. I think that's too much, guys. Uh, I don't know what your opinion is, boys, but I think that's too much. For a player that's high, medium, tough. Not tough to link, but not the easiest to link. It's not like you can just slot him in a team. I think it's at least 400k. What are the packs back? Prime, Electrum, small prime gold players, and rare mix players. Huh. I just think for me today, this was a chance for this card to be like... This is what I always say. The cards that are harder to link, I think they should make crazier. Or like maybe less popular links, they should make even better. And I think that I would have liked to see if they added the work rates maybe to medium, medium. Um, and I really would have liked to see, you know, with his... Look, again, it's a very good card, but what could have been is what I'm saying, right? When you look at it with this guy compared to his silver, it would have been sick to see this guy get 90 plus pace. I can't believe I was so wrong with my prediction. I thought that they were going to get... I mean, look, and again, right? Like, this card just at 400K, I don't know. I just think it's ridiculous. It's too much, way too many coins, I think, at this point. At this point, there's a lot of other center backs that you guys probably have. Uh, all right, so that might not be it for today. Did we get anything else? Uh, group 3 Daily Challenge. Uh, is this new? For birthday party? Please don't tell me this is new. Please don't tell me this is new. Potato, thank you for the prime sub. Uh, please don't tell me this is new. I think this is not new. This is not new. That's old. Uh, we've got a current team of the week upgrade. 
I don't think we have any new icons, unfortunately, but I wasn't expecting these to be till at least Thursday or Friday. So that's no surprise there. All right, so no new icons. We've got a UCL SPC out. I mean, yeah, to be fair, Tomori is 800k, but I will say this about Tomori, man. Tomori is a lot easier to link than St. Juste. Tomori has Theo Hernandez strong link. There's a lot of stuff going on with Tomori. Uh, Gunter, yes, Gunter, yes. This links St. Juste, but the the thing, man, is the thing is, bro, this is the thing. It's still a weak link, man. It's the thing. It's still a weak link, bro. Um, I don't know, bro. I think that's... It's it's definitely an interesting SBC. And let's see... Let's see this card compared to all the, some other center backs, right? Because you guys are talking about it. So let's see in the Bundesliga, right? We go to FIFA 21. And we look at uh, center backs in the Bundesliga. We've got... See positions, uh, center back. So Top Soba is a big one, 446k for Top Soba on the market. Wow. Okay, so Top Soba, we've got Saint Juste, and then we've got let's say for example Klosterman, right? So these guys are tradable and on the market. Oh no, no, this Saint Juste is horrible. No, this Saint Juste is horrible. No, this is not a good SBC. This card is better, man. I'm telling you. This card is going to play better than Sage Day. This card is unbelievable in this game. And he's 250k on the market. 260. No, 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 no. This, this is a bad card. W what else do we have? We have... I mean, even Top Soba. 446k. Um, you know, less, less dribbling. Not five-star skills. Not the shooting. Not the passing. But the pace... Defending a little better, physical a little bit better. Same thing goes with Klosterman, right? He doesn't have necessarily the, the playout capabilities, but he has the defending and pace comparable. We, we've also got, you know, both of these Bender cards that were released. I know the right back Bender is really popular at center back. I'm not going to say that that's a thing because you shouldn't use right backs and left backs at center back. You're a coward. <clears throat> um, Bender, though, 81 pace. I mean, look, a little bit slower. Defensively, a little bit better. We've had a Boateng. I think the St. Juste would probably be better than... I don't know, though, man. Look... Again, as we said with St. Juste, he's got that lean body type, which means that maybe he doesn't have that full capability. Akanji's another one, man. And these guys are still in the UCL. What is Akanji's price? He's inflated due to the UCL. Still 345K, 86 pace, 89 defending, 86 physical with good passing, good dribbling. This is probably the most direct comparison, right? And, and to be honest, this card is going to be about the same price, if not a little cheaper, tradable, and very similar in-game. So... Yeah, again, again, we, we've already talked about, I think, four or five center backs here that are comparable. We've got Alaba. I don't know, man. Opa Meccano. I, I didn't even... Wow, there's so many good Bundesliga center backs this year. 84 pace, 87 defending, 89 physical. Yeah, man. I think that is uh, I think that is point proven right there, boys, that this SBC is probably just a pass. Um, 84% downvoted on Footbin. That's a very high downvote. So 250k for the 86, 110 for the 85, uh, 84, which makes it right now 360, and then an 83. Now, did the 83 need a team of the week? No, it didn't need a team of the week, but it did need 75 chemistry. It means at least at least 50 or 60 chem, 50 or 60k. So this is, yeah, this is uh, this is over, this is 360 right now before the 83, which means this is a 400k SBC. And the thing as well is that we also at the moment we do not have player picks out. Uh, we do not have player picks out. So we also got a new SPC today, Rare Electrum Pack. This is for the UCL. Uh, it's 5K. That's actually not a bad pack. If you're interested in it. And then the other big thing on foot today was that Atal got his price range updated. Um, he's been lulling around this price of the, of right here, about 780. So he got updated to, I think, 1.2 or 1.4. He's been flooded. It'll be interesting to see. I think at some point after people sell, he probably will go up. This card has a lot of demand. Five-star, five-star. A lot of people are really interested in this card. Um, but that's about it. And then I think tomorrow's a new team of the week. I guess the foot birthday player SBCs are technically over. Although foot birthday does go till Friday, which means that Thursday you can pack them in your rewards. And also I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, tomorrow or Thursday, maybe we got one more throwback SBC. Um, just a player that maybe was like really popular back in the day or just something like that. Like that would not surprise me if EA, uh, did something like that. I just hope that they don't. I mean, the SBCs are so weird because... Some of them have been so good, and then some of them have just been so poor. Like, I think also what's a big factor is that a lot of us are getting, like, Vidal, Renato, um, some of these guys. I mean, you just think that some of the prices are so off, man. Like, for what this card is today, I don't know what you guys think is a fair price, but 
for what this card is today as an SBC, I think like 200 to 250 is probably, and even then it's, I, I mean, I think that's probably what it should be, 200K. I don't think this is, what do you, you guys think, 200, 250? <sighs> yeah, so I mean, that's that's kind of what I think, 200K, man. I mean, this even makes like Eric Bai look like not a horrible SBC, and I know that Eric Bai was not a very popular uh, SBC. I mean, that's for sure, so. Yeah, maybe maybe not the best day today, man, for for SBCs. Buy was to what two sixty? Yeah, maybe not the best day today, man, in terms of the SBCs. But we also have some uh, what if upgrades tomorrow, guys. Is this the only what if upgrade that's happening tomorrow? We've got Diada. Uh, what if upgrade? I think that's going to be tomorrow. Um, should be a very good card. I don't know if there's any others that we're supposed to be getting. Lucas Leva, uh, Guendozi, Tello. Okay, so we're gonna have Guendozi. Is 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 Tolvin gonna get his upgrade? We've had so this is gonna get a plus two. Very nice. You should have 99 pace if EA do it right. Uh Lucas Leva is gonna have 80 pace, probably 89 defending. That's a nice, nice midfielder. Gwendozi wasn't an objective. If you grinded that, uh GG's because you may not use him necessarily, but you're gonna get an 89 now, which is decent as fodder. And then uh Goretzka might get in team of the week. Uh Lozano, everybody's saying, is gonna get an upgrade. Goretzka might get in team of the week. So we'll monitor that. Lozano has uh probably risen in price a little bit actually not too much 554 right now he's gonna if this is really actually getting an upgrade though for the streak tomorrow 88 lozano with 90 dribbling probably um really high defending not really high defending really high shooting <laughs> really high defending oh my god um so yeah th those are all looking good i think tello sbc as well that was another one this is not a very high completed sbc though but not a bad card as well if you did it now it's probably maybe closer to that price tag of 150 uh, icon content, my thoughts on this is that they're waiting till foot birthday to end. The priority right now is on the foot player SBCs. I don't think we're going to see new icons probably until Thursday or Friday. Um, this weekend, there is a chance of maybe like a mini promo. But again, I think Team of the Knockout stage will probably be after this round of games potentially before Team of the Season. It'll be like the last promo before Team of the Season. So maybe EA makes up a little promo, you know, for the next couple of weeks. Team of the Season should be within the next four weeks. Um... Followed by Team of the Season should be Euro content all summer with um, Man of the Matches, stuff like that. So that should be a lot of fun. So yeah, I mean, it's crazy to think that it's already that time of the year. We do need the icon stuff to speed up, right? Because as, as I just said, we're getting close to Team of the Season, right? But maybe he is trying to do their whole thing with the, the power curve control. I don't really know. Um, I don't really know. It's always tough to know with EA and, and what they do. So, so yeah, man. But yeah, we, we do need... Uh, we do need... Uh, we do we do need... Uh, do need some more icons soon. And I'm not talking about the icon packs. I'm talking about the icon moments SBCs. That's what we need in our lives now.